All right, so let's hope everything is okay now. Yeah, so the first question here is we have to convert 38 kilometers per hour to meters per second. So converting this is a very simple thing to do. So this is how you do it. So I'm going to write my 38 kilometers per hour. And this will be equal to, I've been told to convert it to meters per second. So the first thing that we need to know is how many meters make up a what? A kilometer and how many seconds make up a what? A, 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 and how? So we know to say um, one kilometer, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. And we also know to say one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. How do I know that? Because um, one hour, oh, let me start with minutes. One hour is equal to what? Uh, 60 minutes. And um, we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we also know to say uh, one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. So now to convert from minutes to seconds, we are trying to find um, how many hours makes up what? A second, meaning you're just multiplying 60 and 60 there. So if you multiply 60 times 60, you're getting what? You're getting 3,600. So that's the simplest way you can understand that. Okay. So, I'm going to write my 38 kilometers. This division uh, line here means, um, I mean, this pair means uh, uh, we're dividing. So that is pair one hour. So in short, one, uh, in short, what this means here is that we have 38 kilometers per hour. Yeah, this is what it means. So when you have something like this, it can also be written in this form. Yeah, so we're multiplying this with their conversion factors. We know to say one, one hour makes up what? 3,600 seconds. So I'm going to write one hour on top. The reason why I'm putting this one hour on top is because I want it to come and cancel with that one hour if we multiply. And then the denominator there should be what? 3,600 seconds. So I'm going to write it like that. And then the other thing is this conversion factor there. We have one kilometer. So the kilometer in the equation there is the numerator. So one kilometer will be the denominator so that it comes to cancel with that when I multiply. It comes to cancel with uh, that part when I multiply. And then I'm going to write the, the 1,000 meters on top. So this is what I'm going to have. So I can see that this one hour and that one hour will cancel. And then this kilometer and that kilometer will also cancel. So what is just going to remain here are numbers and these meters and that second there. So after doing that, it's just a matter of multiplying. So I have 38 times 1,000 there. I have 38,000. Then I'm dividing it by 3,600. And this is giving me what? So I cancel out the zeros. So this will be 380 divided by 36. Yeah, so we have 380 divided by uh, 36. So that is, um, if you want to can leave it as a fraction, which is 95 over nine, nine meters per second. Or if you want, you can convert it to a decimal, which is 10.6 meters per second. So that is how you do the conversion. We move on to the next one, which is 30 cubic uh, centimeters to what? To cubic, we're converting this to what? To cubic 
kilometers. So even there, what you just need to understand is to is the conversion factor. So the conversion factor there is um, we know to say, um, okay, let me start with uh, centimeters this side. So we know to say uh, one centimeter, or let me say a um, hundred centimeters make up a what? A meter. So 100 centimeter make up a what? A meter. So if we say uh, one kilometer, if we introduce a kilo here, means that we're talking about 1,000 what? 1,000 meters. So for 1,000 meters, meaning we're going to have what? 100,000 centimeters. So for 1,000, 1,000 meters, which is one kilometer, we're going to have 100,000 centimeters. So what you do now to get the, to get the cubic, yeah, to get the cubic centimeters there. So you have to raise uh, this part to the power what? To the power three. And then even this part, you raise it to the power three. Okay, this is kilometer already. So let me let me just do this. So 1,000 meters. Okay, let me do this so that you understand properly. I said 1,000 meters is equal to 100,000 centimeters. So I'm trying to come up with a conversion factor. So 1,000 meters is equal to 1,000. Uh, I mean 100,000 centimeters. So 1,000 meters is what is one kilometers. So one kilometer, in other words, you are saying it's equal to what? 100,000 um, centimeters. So what you do to come up with, uh, um, to come up with um, a kilometer cubed, you simply just have to raise this to the power three. And since this is an equation, whatever you do on the left should also be done on the right. So we also raise the right, right side with, I mean, to the power three. So this side, we're going to have one kilometer to the, to the power three. This will now be equal to, so if you raise this um, 100,000 uh, to the power three, so when you raise 100,000 to the power three, you are getting, um, you are getting uh, one times 10 to the power 15. Yeah, to the power 15 centimeter cubed. So this is the conversion factor that we're going to use. Yeah, so this is the conversion factor that we're going to use to convert kilometers to what? I mean, cubic kilometers to cubic centimeters. So I'm going to write my, so what do I want? I'm converting from centimeter cubed to uh, kilometer cubed. So my centimeter cubed, we have 30 centimeter cubed then i'm converting it to uh to us is to kilometer cubed so from there simple now i can just cross multiply so it's simple from there we just have to cross multiply and get the solution okay so when you cross multiply there you're going to have 30 times um, one, we're getting 30. And then you say this is equal to X times 10 to the power 15, we're getting 10 to the power 15 X. Then we're just going to divide by 10 to the power 15, 10 to the power 15. And the value of X becomes, so when you divide that, you say 30 divided by uh, 10 to the power 15, we're getting uh, three, three times 10 to the power negative 14 um, kilo meter cubed. So that is what you are supposed to get. All right, so we quickly move on to the next one, 
which is the last question here. So we're converting 55 meters to millimeter squared. So we are converting 55 meter squared to add to uh, millimeter squared. So we go through the same procedure. We first have to come up with a conversion factor. And how do we do, do that? First of all, we have to know how many um, millimeters make up a meter. So we know to say um, one meter is equal to what? A thousand uh, millimeters. So if we want to get meter squared, we have to square this part. We also square this part. And hence we're going to have one meter squared being equal to, um, this will be one million millimeter squared. So after finding this, we can now put in the values that we've been given. So we've been given 55 meters squared and we're converting this to what? To millimeters squared, which we don't know. So we'll just cross multiply there and the value of X becomes 55 million millimeters squared. All right, so this is the solution to the last question there. Do we have any questions before we can end the meeting? No questions for me. All right, then. Okay, so immediately after mathematics, we are going to meet for physics again. We finish up with uh, dimension analysis. All right, so see you in the next uh, lesson. Okay, thank you.